Hello, I'm Julie Hendricks with CPM. I'm an applications engineer on the feed and industrial team and uh, here today to talk about conditioner pick settings. We'll talk about uh, first kind of laying out the conditioner and how you would see it uh, in your facility. So this is a shaft that we have here. So this goes inside the conditioner shell. Um, and you wouldn't see this unless you open up your equipment. But this would be the inlet side or the back side um, where the seam or water addition is done. And then up here is the outlet side or the side that would uh, feed product to the pellet mill. So your pellet mill is likely typically placed below this. Um, in some way, shape, or form. Before we do any work on the conditioner as well as any other equipment, always practice uh, lockout tagout procedures and uh, consult any safety for your facility on that. A special thing to note is that when we set the pick paddles here at the factory, we set them to 15 degrees, which is dependent on the shaft rotation and then we set those to 15 degrees conveying, which is um, relative to the shaft. And then that set conveying is towards the pellet mill. And then before making any adjustments at your facility, we recommend that you check the fill rate and the retention time. And you want to do those on your highest tons per hour running formula. The fill rate, we want that to be a target of 60% fill which is just to the top of the shaft of the conditioner. And you want that to be even all the way across. So you don't want there to be high points and low points. When setting the retention time and fill rate, uh, we also recommend that you, you watch your motor load amps on the pellet mill as well during that time to make sure, see how consistent or not consistent they are. And then when adjusting any pick paddles, you also want to make sure that you're within a quarter inch clearance between the paddle and the shell of the conditioner. Uh, when adjusting the paddles, keep in mind that, like we said earlier, 45 degrees is maximum conveying and zero degrees, which is parallel to the shaft, is maximum mixing. So we want to optimize the mixing of the product uh, especially if you're adding steam or water to cause consistent product going into the pellet mill. And if we don't have consistent product going into the pellet mill, the pellet mill behaves inconsistently and then therefore the product and throughput is not consistent. Uh, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at CPM and we'll be able to help you. Thank you.